Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about power line adapters. We'll talk about what they are, what they can be used for, some variations and the advantages and disadvantages. So what are power line adapters? Well power line adapters are basically little devices that use your house's electrical circuits to transmit data. So all your sockets etc have cables connected to them and what your power line is doing is using those cables to talk to a device at the other end using your power line, uh, using the power cables. So it's very clever. It's basically you're traveling, you've got electricity going down to power devices and also electricity going down to power data. So it's, it's a very clever little device. Um, so what would you use them for? Well, what is a power line used for? Um, well, there's lots of reasons you use a power line. So say for example, um, you've got a 4K television, um, which is used, connected via Wi-Fi to your wireless router. Um, and you're finding that it's a bit slow or it's getting it's making other things on your network slow So say you've got your iPad connected and then someone else has got their phone connected And you're also streaming and then someone's playing on a games console You might find that your Wi-Fi router is struggling. It's uh, it's a lot of information to be transferring via Wi-Fi and um, so the things are starting to slow down so what you can do is you can connect that device via power line. Um, power line is pretty consistent and it's also able to transfer a lot of data. But most importantly, it's, it's powered by Ethernet. So it means that it's not powered by Wi-Fi. So it's taking that strain straight off the router, uh, off the Wi-Fi uh, network. Um, so that's one way you might use them. Um, another way you might use them is to um, connect uh, to, to sort of get, get Wi-Fi into an area that's struggling to get Wi-Fi. So you might have, say, uh, a room that's away from your router or there's lots of thick walls in the way or mirrors or whatever it is um, that's stopping you getting Wi-Fi in that area. And you can basically, you can use a, a power line um, Wi-Fi extender to basically plug into one end and then plug into another and the other end will broadcast a Wi-Fi signal. And that basically means that you've effectively got an, an extension of your Wi-Fi network which is really helpful um, and can sort of add to your, to your network, uh, network space really, make it a lot bigger and the area that you can cover a lot bigger. Uh, very simple to set up um, and very easy to use. So, um, but we'll just go through some sort of specifics now. Um, we're gonna be looking at specifically at a, a TP-Link power line adapter. Um, TP-Link are a bit of a dominant force in the, in the power line market, but there are plenty of other brands. So, uh, you know, don't, don't think that you have to get a TP-Link one. There are plenty of others. The one we've got here is actually the one we're giving away in our Facebook giveaway at the moment. Uh, so yeah, check out our website, check out the Facebook page and you'll be able to find details of that. That does end on the 17th of July, so I'm sorry if you've missed it, but um, yeah, this is, uh, this is what we're giving away at the moment. This is actually a fairly basic model, it's quick, but it's uh, just for Ethernet. So, uh, but we'll cover this one because it is a good sort of uh, way to understand how, how a power line works. So, in your box, you will get, uh, this is the starter, sort of starter kit. So you'll get a, um, two of these, basically uh, little, little devices, uh, sockets on one side, um, some indicator lights and a button on the front, and then a, and a sort of Ethernet port on the bottom. Um, pretty simple little devices, only small. Uh, your Wi-Fi ones will vary slightly, which we'll cover in a moment. Also in your box, you'll have some Ethernet cables. Um, so you can see the little, little cables there. These are obviously wrapped up at the moment. Um, I'm not gonna unwrap them because these are going to someone as a giveaway. Um, but basically, yeah, that's what you get in the box. And the way they work is very simple. So as I said, they're using your house's electrical circuit uh, to transfer data. So what you do is you plug this end into a, into a socket. And then what you're going to do is get your Ethernet cable and you're going to connect one end here into the bottom of this in this uh, socket at the bottom. And then you go in the back of your router, so your wireless router, like your BT hub or your Virgin hub or whatever it is you've got. Um, at the back of that, you'll notice that there'll be some little sockets that will look like that, the little RJ45 LAN sockets. Um, and you basically plug your, uh, your, wife, your Ethernet into that. So you plug it in there and then you plug in the other end into the back of your router. And that gives you connection onto the power line. So that's basically putting your data onto the power line. So it's ready to talk at this end. Now what you can do is go to the other end of uh, the circuit. So wherever, wherever you want your device to be, your 4K telly, your PC, your games console, whatever it is. And you'll plug this in, into the socket. Um, and you'll connect via Ethernet to the bottom. 
and to your device, so whatever it is, like your Xbox or whatever. Um, and that's it, you connect it up. Now most of them, obviously the setup will vary slightly. Most of them it will just be a matter of push, pushing the button um, and it, they'll pair, so they'll start to talk to each other. They recognize each other on the system. They're really good, in fact, uh, most of the time when you unplug them, etc., they'll uh, they'll still they'll pair up straight away afterwards. So you might unplug it and move it, decide actually, I don't want to use it for the Xbox anymore, I'm gonna use it for the telly, so you unplug it and move it and it should still pair up pretty much straight away. So they're pretty good like that. Um, like I said, these are pretty simple in the fact that um, they are just for Ethernet really, so they plug in and they've got just a single Ethernet feed to the other. Um, if you wanted to increase the feeds, you could put a little mini switch on, etc. But um, basically they're just for connecting a single Ethernet cable. Um, you do get different ones, so you might get some uh, that at the other end they might have a uh, pass-through socket which basically means that if you've only got one socket for your device or your router or something, then uh, you can you can basically plug this in and then plug this other socket on top of it and it makes it um, you know available, it uses less socket space. These, they say you shouldn't use an extension lead. Um, I've found that they do work on extension leads, but they say you shouldn't use them. Um, maybe if you get an intermittent signal and it's on extension lead, that's maybe why. Um, you also get some other ones that basically, uh, they'll have sort of something like this on one end, um, but the other end will be bigger um, and it'll have probably antennas and they're used for wireless extension so that was what I was talking about earlier when I said about putting uh, Wi-Fi, extending Wi-Fi into an area of your house um, so they're quite, they're quite good as well they normally have a little port on the bottom as well so you can also connect an Ethernet as well so uh, the sort of multi-use uh, give you a wireless network and also an Ethernet uh, port they're obviously a little bit more expensive but not, not massively so um, the other variation on these is they do vary in speed if you look here on the box, you can see that it's these are 600 megabytes per second. Um, basically, that means that's theoretical speed. So you know, just take that with a pinch of salt. But you should be getting pretty close to that. So uh, you know, and most devices won't be getting anywhere near that. I think Virgin are currently offering 350 megs uh, per second. So uh, you know, that's that's nowhere near 600. So it should do absolutely fine on that. Um, yeah, so those are the variations. So we've sort of talked about what you can use it for, some of the advantages. Obviously, one of the key advantages is it's a real pain to, to run Ethernet cable. Uh, you probably want to get people in to do it if it's going to be a long run. That's, that's what we do, obviously. Um, but if it's going to be a short run, then you might just run an Ethernet cable. Say you want to put it into another room. You don't want to be lifting up floorboards, chasing out walls, etc. Um, because it's just a lot of hassle. And it's much easier just to put a power line in. Um, so that's one of the key advantages. Um, the other advantage is that they're quite cheap. Um, they are pretty reliable. I have heard people say that they, they have had problems with them. Um, often our customers are people that have had problems with, cut, with power line and they decided to go for a hard line uh, ethernet solution. But overall I think they're pretty good. I think the limitations on them are perhaps that um, they're not as good if you have more than one power line connected. So basically you should be able to have one sort of base station and then several outlying ones around the house. Um, however, they do tend to seem to struggle with that. Um, I don't know why this signal becomes less uh, less reliable in those situations. So that's one of the issues that you might find. Um, but again, uh, I do know people that have got that set up and they're absolutely fine. So yeah. Um, so we've talked about all the advantages, let's talk about some of the disadvantages. So potentially you might have a slightly strange setup on your electrics where uh, the, the socket that you've got might not be on the same circuit as the other socket. So I don't know, maybe for an extension, maybe it's an outbuilding, whatever the reason is, um, they might not connect on the power. And if they're not physically connected on the power, then they're not going to connect using the power line. So that's basically, that's one of the sort of uh, disadvantages there. The other disadvantage is, like I said, sometimes they're not quite as reliable as they could be. Um, if you did get these ones, for example, and you had limited socket space, then it could be a problem and they might not work in the extension lead, etc. There's also some talk about how uh, you broadcast, basically you're broadcasting off your power cables which can cause interference I don't think that's a real problem but it's one that's mentioned a lot so uh, yeah that's another one um, 
Other than that, there's not really a huge amount of, uh, amount of problems. You might find as well that occasionally you've got something that's uh, pulling a, a load on the, uh, putting quite a high load on the circuit in that area. So say for example, a tumble dryer or I know microwaves can cause problems as well in the way that they draw power and also there's sort of uh, potential interference there. So you might find that if you've got uh, one of those devices nearby, then it might cause a sort of signal issues in that at particular times, but Again, that'll be intermittent. I don't think you'll get huge problems most of the time. So actually, great little devices. Um, are they secure? Yes, absolutely, they are secure. Um, especially these ones. I mean, these are just these are just hard lines. So they they effectively, unless you sort of plugged into the power or you plugged into the uh, into the net itself, then you're not gonna not gonna be able to get in on that. Uh, the wireless ones, I say yes, they are secure. Well, they're as secure as your Wi-Fi, so um, my advice on that would be to always change your username and ID for your, for your internet. Um, that's just because those are often available online, and so potentially people could hack into your Wi-Fi. What are the chances of them doing that? Probably pretty low, but um, yeah, it's always just best to be safe. So that's about it. I think uh, we've covered everything. This, you know, how they work, um, the sort of simple setup, some of the advantages, disadvantages. Um, if you do have any questions, then you know just um, ask below. Um, but yeah, that's me done. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like if you have and comment, subscribe. Thanks very much.